Hi guys and welcome to a new Let's Play. I've decided to start with 999, which is uh, the first in a trilogy of visual novels um, with puzzles um, from Spike Jonesoft. Um, originally the game was for the Nintendo DS, uh, but then they made a PC port, so if there are things that look very low um, quality, they probably didn't really uh, make everything different again. So, let's uh, start the game. Uh, create save data. Yeah, sure. Just the first one. Alright. Prologue. Oh, it's starting. The game, is <laughs> the game is fiction, guys, if you didn't know. Novel and adventure mode, yeah. Oh, cutscene. So we're on a ship or something? The number nine seems to be really important. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, wow. I, I can see uh, <laughs> how it was made for the DS originally. Oh, that's really a game noise? Oh my god, that sounds so weird. Uh, a loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. What? What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize the building. Uh, maybe a bit longer? With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold grey floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I, I am like that as well in the mornings. A bed? Yes. Is that the most surprising thing? The bed? I'd be like, wait, what? Are we on a ship? I fell pretty far. Yeah. <sighs> really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Yeah, I must say it's shaking very weirdly. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Where am I? That's a good question. Wait, it... it stopped? Oh, okay. I thought the game crashed or something. What's that sound? Oh. That's... Five. And like a device on the wall. What's this five mean? Like a card reader. Ah, oh, open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? I imagine. <laughs> hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! That's not going to help. <laughs> like, uh, this is sort of, I guess, an escape room kind of game. Huh? Uh, where you have to solve different rooms. What the hell is this? A watch. Oh, we are it number five. Look like one. I guess. Five. That's that's the same as the door. So there's nine people, and we're all numbered. What? How do I take this off? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe pushing something on this will work. Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. That's your first thought? Maybe we should open the door? I mean, the watch doesn't seem extremely dangerous at the moment. 
No good. <laughs> this stupid thing won't come off. I mean, it, it probably is dangerous, but <laughs> that's not what really our priority. Deal with this thing? Where am I? On a ship. And why the hell am I here? <laughs> why? What the hell happened to me? <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is. Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? I think Junpei is a bit slow. Uh, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the? Oh, oh, oh you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> what? What the hell is going on here? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what the hell? God damn it! He likes to curse. Hey, anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. <laughs> I need to find a way out and fast. Okay. Seek a way out. Oh, what, what's this? So that's the sink, a bed, a bed. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what that is either. Can I? Okay, back. Thought I could click stuff. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. You go search around and uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Or like the arrows? Can I do that? Ah, oh, that's weird. Q is for like your cursor, I guess? And E just does this. Can I just do it like this? Uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> About items. So once you've obtained, obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. What? Note from the bulletin board. Oh, okay. Oh my god, turn! Uh, yes. Red and blue. Okay. Search. The notes got. Yeah, okay, in red and blue. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change. Whatever. <laughs> picture frame. An old picture frame, yeah. There's a picture of a ship, yeah. There's screws keeping the back on, so there's something in there. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. This is the only drain in the room. Oh, sorry. Uh, go back. I like the music, kind of. It's weird, but I like it. What's this? Oh, I didn't mean like that, but okay. No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Well, nothing. <laughs> okay, so that's not... Another one. A red one. Just like the blue briefcase. Yep, there's a lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Ah, what a coincidence. What a coincidinky. Coinky dinky. Um, blue briefcase. I can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. 
Is that a real um, thing you say, like, till the cows come home? Damn it. Isn't there anything else I can use? Well, I was checking the beds. There's something in here, maybe. Oh! Looks like there is. Yeah, get it. A key? Yeah. Come on. There's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Okay. My glasses really aren't staying on, are they? Uh, this is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of it was that easy to open. Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not this stove has been used before. What's this? It looks red. Screwdriver. Do I combine with this? Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. I didn't... Oh, there's something on the back. Oh, okay, so it's to solve this code, but that's red and blue, so I don't know, it's four digits. That wouldn't make sense. Oh, <laughs> it's just gonna say that. So someone wrote a bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the picture, huh? I think we need like a second one, maybe? I just combined two <laughs> items. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations. Yeah, I just did that. I probably was a bit too fast for the game. I wanna search the beds for stuff. See? Told you. Wait. So this one goes that way. So for the blue one it's oh sh wait where's my oh <laughs> i was like where's my thing can i yeah no i can't combine them um so for the blue one it's zero two six three zero two six three okay Because we have the key for that. Zero two six three. I'm not going to read this. I know several mini games. Yeah. What? Don't... you don't have to explain that. Uh, enter. Or maybe, yeah, click the key. Thought enter might work, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, Alright, let's see if these numbers work. A turn of the key and hey, looks like it's working. Yes, alright, let's open it up. I, I can't see what's in there, it's like a... Look, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What's this? A file. Okay, like, it's kind of what I meant, I guess. Okay, some notes and files. I don't think I'm going to use the hotkeys, because they're not very logical. Digital root. Compute a digital route with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digit. Okay, so it's... Uh, yeah, okay, I, I get it. So, yeah, you, you add the stuff until you have like one single digit. That's the digital route. Okay, that's going to be important. <laughs> Uh, so six, seven, eight would be. So let's see if I get this. Uh, that's fourteen, twenty-one. So that's three. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, the digital root is three. Um, one, two, three, four. That's uh, six, ten. So that's one. Therefore, the digital root is one. So digital roots are like one through nine. You can't have anything else. Unless the digital read of zero is li literally zero, but that doesn't make sense. Because that's just one number. 
Notebook, pen and calculator. Oh, we're going to do math. <laughs> and a stack of key cards, huh? With the number six on them. Okay. Looks like some key cards. Oh, yeah. Number written on. Oh, it's multiple numbers. Six, seven, eight is what we have. Does that mean something? Oh. Um, new material to the file screen. Yeah. Calculator. Press. Oh my god. Calculator. Digital root. Oh, okay, so there's like a function to do that because you know players can't do math with numbers from 1 through 9. It's very difficult. I swear. Like, why would you add that function? It's really not that difficult. Uh, we need a red key. Is this... Oh! A small key, red. Small red key. Uh, so what's the code for that one? Um, seven, four, eight, five, seven, four, eight, five. Oh. Should probably hold on to this key. Seven, four, oh. eight, five. Oh, what's up with my face? That's not important at the moment. I look like a zombie. Yes, you do. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... and... Don't do that when I'm trying to remember numbers. 7485. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Then why the fuck are you yelling that you're back? <laughs> oh, <gasps> man, work was rough today. The window's open. You're fucked. Huh? A breeze. Huh. So I guess That's this weird. is how we Did I got that open? Get that? Hmm. Everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Yeah. Or someone broke in. Like a guy with a gas mask. What? Who are <laughs> It's a functional gas mask. I can't. Oh, I accidentally skipped a bit too early, I guess. Consider this a privilege you have been chosen. I am Jigsaw. No. You are going to participate in a game. Do you want to play a game? The nonary game. Nonary, so nine. The number nine is important. It's a game where you will put your life on the line. That sounds exciting. <laughs> That's right. That guy with the gas mask. Shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> that son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. I mean, it could be a woman with a voice changer. Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. What the yeah. hell is going on? Why me? With the chosen one. Well, from nine people probably, right? You, we just heard that. You don't have to repeat it. Like, we literally saw this two seconds ago, and you're already repeating yourself. The nonary game. Huh. Like, we're not stupid. Is that really important when the room is flooding? Fuck, I forgot the code. <laughs> uh, items. <sighs> See, I said I was going to forget the code, didn't I? Uh, seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Oh. oh. Maybe I should be using the hotkey. Um. I don't entirely like the system. 7485. Well, of course it's not opening. Yeah. Yeah, the right numbers. We did this before. 
I'm not going to read stuff like that again. Let's give it a shot, yeah. So can I click, like right click? No. Yeah. I thought right clicking might do the dial in the other direction. Yeah, give it a shot. No. Okay. Seven, four. <laughs> All the clicking. I skipped it. Seven, four, eight. Oh, five. Why was I thinking nine? Uh, yeah, click. Do we get a different file? And maybe a way to get out of here? It's opening! Some red key cards. So I'm assuming this is like uh, one through five. So we have one, two, three, and six, seven, eight. Where's the rest? <laughs> uh, do I combine these? <sighs> Just combine them. So am I am I done? Or do I need four and five? Come on. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Yeah. Oh, do we need to make five? Like a digital route. Oh, do we use the red ones now? Is that is that it? Nah. Damn it, not again. Yeah, digital route. But how many do we have to enter? Is it like two at least or is it? Because we don't have the number five, so two and three. Or eight and six. Those are two possible combinations. Yeah, I clicked. <laughs> I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five. Clicked. Oh, three cards. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Three cards. I thought it was something like that. Um, so three cards, uh, two, six, and... Oh no, then I can't make four. Uh, wait, so we're trying to get 14. Um, eight, six, two. No. <laughs> uh, 14, 14, 14. Oh, one, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, click. Click. Oh, it worked. <laughs> I think this is gonna work. There we go. New noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Well, that light was. Oh my god. Are you going to explain everything? <laughs> There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. I swear, if they are going to explain everything to me, then I'm gonna go crazy. In fact, was that long enough for like an episode? Like maybe I should stop here? I forgot to put on a timer again. Whoa! Ow! Uh. My head! Wait, is it is it over? If you really think that that was going to be all, then I th I think you're naive. <laughs> That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. I kind of like the, the art style. Am I in a hallway? It's the Titanic. Oh. <laughs> kind of looks like a Titanic, I guess. Like an old ship. A door. Another door. But maybe like lower ground. Water. 
because, me go. you know, with the metal doors. But that's something you do on the oh, lower floors, yes. I think. It opened. Isn't it? Oh. What the hell? It is the fucking Titanic. <laughs> this is the inside of a ship? Looks nice. We just we're just missing the clock, really. Well. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Well, oh, yeah. Shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. <sighs> sea deck. So were we on sea or were we low? Oh. B deck. I thought I had to click. Hurry! Hurry! A deck's next. You're not going to drown that fast, but. Oh, those were other numbers. Meet the cast. Uh, we have four people here. Uh, dock worker, edgy teenage kid, um, content for guys who like anime, um, nerd. <laughs> people. <laughs> a lot of people. Ooh, I like his style. Um, this is going to be like a bit of a... You know, he's going to talk like like a know-it-all. Um, they seem to be related because he's kind of like holding her shoulder. Um, yeah, she's like probably the youngest one on the ship. I don't trust this guy immediately. If you're dressed like that, I don't trust you. <laughs> um... Then to be fair, I don't trust... Well, I mean, it's just itchy probably. Uh... <laughs> and everyone's looking like, what the fuck? Wait, those are only like seven plus one, so we're missing someone. I guess it's another one of us now. Oh. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. If you're not a dancer, then why are you dressed like that? <laughs> oh, uh, well, okay then. I mean, it seems impractical. S silver hair? Oh, is are we giving people nicknames? Huh? Yeah, so he's silver and I think the other one was dancer or something. <laughs> one of us, huh? W what? So this is silver. Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will Why? <laughs> Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Because of his hair. <laughs> Come on! Aren't you coming? Big hair. You gotta hurry. I would say schoolgirl, but That's nine of us then. Really? I only counted eight in total. Where's the ninth one? Prince. Oh. Is it different in novel mode? All of the cards are. Oh shit, dead. I wanted to go up. Yeah, so this is kinda like describing everything. Do I need this? So yeah, this is kind of like if you don't notice that they're kind of they're related somehow because she's grabbing his wrist he is he blind because he he has his eyes closed all the time is he is he blind and you know like he seems very whatever <laughs> so that kind of explains some things but i'm not sure if i need it Oh, I don't want to go to novel screen. All of Wait. the cards are in hand. They're but, gone. Well, I don't know. We're missing someone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Dock worker and uh, nerd. Uh huh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> that all about um okay hey what the hell are you just standing there mountain for? because he's so huge didn't you hear him uh -huh. Uh -huh. the doors on a deck are no good okay so they check the upper floor you gotta check the doors on b deck got it now go oh. he just hey, pushes man, that was dangerous he just pushed us but huh? that's not dangerous like what are you gonna do fall and break your neck 
four. And this one says five. Oh, are we going to use the bracelets to open the doors and you have to have like a digital root of whatever numbers on the door? And you probably need a minimum and a maximum amount of people. They're the same. I assume. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. Because that's not for key cards, is it? You too. That would be super easy, so it wouldn't be key cards. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it. Ran down the hall. Oh shit, I'm sorry I skipped that. I literally slipped my finger. My cell was the same, a number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside and found myself in the rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Okay, I'm sorry, like that was really a misclick. <sighs> me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yeah, we established that. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. <laughs> See, that dancer gets it. <laughs> you think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open, damn it! Fuck it. Like not after opening. this scene Stamping plays out, I think. You know. Out of my way. Like we still need one person. <laughs> it's not helping. Like, do you really think you're gonna open a metal door like that? It doesn't seem like rusted. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Yeah, it's called metal. Hmm. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Oh, it's a bit different. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. I mean, the fact that you can't open it probably means that it's locked, but okay. <laughs> Damn it! Are there any other doors? Yeah, but they're locked, probably. Oh, he had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was Rose, and we had a super romantic Titanic moment. Yeah, okay. Fuck off. <laughs> it was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. Aww. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. I'm sorry, I'm being ridiculous. As Junpei stepped onto her, her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Oh, she's going to fall on top of him, isn't she? <laughs> the quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. <laughs> the ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? <laughs> Jumpy. <laughs> Jumpy? Her words echoed through Jinpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane? 
Ah, so they knew each other, like, way back. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on this ship? Well, probably there's a reason that all these people are on the ship. <laughs> her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd taught, taught, he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> He could feel his face heating up. At that moment, we finally went back to adventure mode. I want to play a game. <laughs> what? What's that voice? Not oh, zero. Yeah, that's that's I guess appropriate. Yeah, next time send a letter first so we can prepare. This is that guy in the gas mask. Hey asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? <laughs> I wonder if he's directly responding to us, then he must be like watching, like somewhere on the ship. Oh, so some of them have played the game before, I guess. Oh, so some people have like been here before. Nonary game. What the hell's that? I think I already figured out the rules. What is he talking about? Or at least half of them. Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Because you are the protagonist. Well, I guess I will end the first episode like here. I think it's a good part to stop. So next time we can go right into the rules and, uh, you know, go further. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Um, so it, it seems really fun. Um, it does seem like the reading can be a bit, you know, redundant. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and I hope I'll see you for the next one. Bye!